Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to discuss, is Kylie Jenner still a billionaire in 2022? Let's get right into it. The Kardashian Jenners tend to inspire sighs and eye rolls from jaded media consumers after more than a decade in the spotlight. Even those who aren't fans of reality TV's first family are enthralled by their fortune. The Kardashian-Jenner machine and the money it generates has been the subject of articles, podcasts, and even books. The family, on the other hand, has spent years fighting with Forbes for higher positions on our yearly wealth and celebrity earnings lists. While Kylie Jenner, the family's youngest member, sold 51% of her Kylie Cosmetics to cosmetics powerhouse, Coty, in a $1.2 billion deal in January, it was a watershed moment for the family. The agreement, which was one of the largest celebrity cash-outs in history, seemed to confirm what Kylie had been claiming all along and what Forbes had published in March 2019. Kylie Jenner was a billionaire, before the coronavirus at least. Coty chairman Peter Harf gushed when announcing the acquisition in November. Kylie is a modern-day icon, with an incredible sense of the beauty consumer. However, the transaction's fine print disclosed an unflattering fact. According to documents made by publicly traded Coty in the last six months, Kylie's business is significantly smaller and less successful than the family has spent years convincing the cosmetics industry and other sources, including Forbes, to believe. White lies, omissions, and outright fabrications are to be expected from the dynasty that perfected and then monetized the concept of famous for being famous. The Jenners' unusual willingness to go to such lengths to appear even wealthier, inviting Forbes into their mansions and CPA's offices, and even creating likely forged tax returns shows just how desperate some of the ultra-rich are to appear even wealthier, similar to Donald Trump's decades-long obsession with his net worth. Despite collecting an estimated $340 million after taxes from the transaction, Forbes now says Kylie Jenner is not a billionaire based on this new information, as well as the influence of COVID-19 on beauty stocks and consumer spending. Similar to other Kardashian businesses, Kylie started as a way to benefit from a minor issue. She was the family's eldest daughter, and she spent more than a year disputing media reports that she was getting lip filler injections until ultimately admitting it in May 2015. Rather than being embarrassed about being caught lying, she and her perceptive mother, Chris, viewed it as a marketing opportunity. In November 2015, Kylie debuted her first batch of 15,000 lip kits, which featured a lip liner and matching lipstick, with $250,000 of her profits from modeling, endorsements, and appearances on Keeping Up With The Kardashians. Any doubts that Kylie wasn't a billionaire were dispelled in November 2019, when Coty, a corporation with annual revenue of $8.6 billion, announced it would buy 51% of Kylie Cosmetics for $600 million, valuing the company at $1.2 billion. The deal gave Coty, which is 116 years old and in trouble, a young, social media savvy brand to help it turn around its sagging financials. It supplied Kylie with a substantial chunk of money and allegedly evidence of her billionaire status, as well as a significant chance for expansion. Then there's the issue of profit. Forbes calculated that her company's net margins were 44%, due to its minimal overhead. However, Kylie's profits are likely lower than we projected, as her EBITDA margin, which includes some but not all of her expenses, is only about 25% according to Cody's filings. For years, the Jenners claimed that because Kylie owned the firm outright, she received 100% of the profits. However, in Cody's purchase agreement, a KMJ 2018 irrevocable trust administered by Kirsten M. Jenner is identified as owning a profit interest in Kylie Cosmetics. According to the deal, the trust would get capital or ownership, interest in the company after the sale. Kylie Jenner is the beneficiary of the trust, according to the Jenners, which holds money she earned before she was 18 years old. The trust, however, appears to have been established after Kylie turned 18, and the Jenners have declined to give any proof to back up their assertions. Given the lack of clarity and the history of deception, we're erring on the side of caution and believing that the trust belongs to Kris Jenner. As a result, Kylie Jenner owns 44.1% of Kylie Cosmetics, rather than the previously assumed 49%. After considering all of this new information, as well as the pandemic, Forbes recalculated Kylie's net worth and determined that she is not a billionaire. Despite the fanfare surrounding the Cody acquisition, which appeared to confirm her billionaire status, a more realistic assessment of her personal wealth puts her at just under $900 million. More than a third of that is the estimated $340 million in after-tax profits she would have gotten if she had sold the majority of her company. 
The rest is made up of revised earnings based on her company's smaller size and a more conservative estimate of profitability, as well as the value of her remaining Kali Cosmetics share, which is not only smaller than the Jenners led us to believe, but is also worth less now than it was when the deal was announced in November, thanks to the coronavirus's economic effects. Since the acquisition was announced, Cody's stock has plunged more than 60%, while even better performing rivals like Ultra Beauty and Estee Lauder are still in the single digits. Add in the fact that Wall Street thinks Cody overpaid in the first deal, and Kylie's net value is nowhere near a billion dollars, despite her massive cash out. As is traditional, Forbes asked the Jenners for their thoughts on their numbers. When confronted with the various contradictions, the normally talkative family did something unexpected. They stopped responding to their questions. That's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on any future content we'll produce for you guys. We're signing off now, but we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.